the fuck is that? <laughs> um, it's a beer gourd, actually. It's part of the analog brewing process, helps to maintain the flavor's lucidity. This place is really well known for them, if you didn't know that. Thanks. It's fine. Just enjoy your meal. Damn. Uh, there's no phone policy here, actually. I'll be quick. You should have turned it off, really. Hello? Oh, for fuck's sake! Excuse me, could you moderate the language? Some of us are trying to commune in pleasancy. Sorry. Someone just broke into the gallery, presumably, and... Hmm? Oh, no! No, this is my work. This is how it's meant to look. I deliberately placed defaced art in front of the viewer to help them question their attitude towards it. Generally speaking, we all rush to the defence of something that's been vandalised. I hope we do anyway. This way, you get people to notice things that, that otherwise just walk straight past. So you're sort of playing devil's advocate in a way to try and stimulate their interest? That's exactly it. Did you read that in my notes? Notes. It doesn't sound as if you need them, but... Oh, She's great, but between you and me, I don't care much for the way she treats certain people. A poor mother, for instance, would be devastated if she knew what she gets up to. Or maybe I'm just out of step with what's acceptable these days. Oh, God, I'm so glad to hear someone else say that. You start to worry you're turning into Mary Poppins. It's like you can be copulating with your best friend's donkey now. No one turns a hair. <laughs> this is very rude of me. I haven't offered you a drink. Now, tell me the truth. What? Exactly, did you see? I... I don't really see anything. Why on earth would a teacher do something like that, hmm? I don't know. How come no one saw any signs of this vicious attack immediately after the alleged incident? It was round my neck. They couldn't see. It's time to end this farce, Mr. Forrest. Given the evidence and its corroboration, he had to find you guilty. I didn't hit him. I know. I know. And I think we've got a really good chance at an appeal when the temperature dies down. It's obvious they're lying. That respoiled crack. An appeal? That could take years. More like months. Have you run company lawyers yet, mate? Because you know I'm suing. You know I didn't mean to run you over. No, of course not. Your foot just slipped on clutch. Look, if you hit me so much, why don't you just leave? It's only a job. Because there's nearly 20 years of my life in that factory, all right? You've seen the redundancy package. Oh, yeah, my redundancy package, yeah. What about the 50 other workers, eh? Half of them with families. Oh, not that you know much about looking after anybody but yourself. He's dead. I'm very sorry. But he's only 34. Was it because of the thing this morning? N no. Because I hardly touched him. You know, I didn't mean anything by it. Your brother's death had nothing to do with what happened this morning, I promise you that. So what was it then? You're not telling me a bloke in his thirties just drops down dead, are you? Brett, your brother... Your brother was just unlucky. He must have had a weak heart for a while. Simply couldn't cope with surgery. Did he know? What, what makes you think that? I don't know, just someone he said. You really mustn't blame yourself. I really am sorry. She made some remark about going out and robbing a cab. I argued against her. But she said she wanted me to give her the gun and that she'd go out by herself. The car stopped. The gun was loaded and cocked. I just meant to fire the gun over his shoulder, just to scare him. 